The stunning new image of a suspect wanted for murder could help solve a horrifying case. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 11. I'm Mike Duffy. The Oakland County Sheriff says it was a targeted attack against a Hamtramck business owner. Two suspects showed up at his home on Newcastle Street in Rochester Hills and conned their way into the home. BTE. We're checking for gas leaks. What followed left a 72 year old man dead and his wife tied up and terrorized. Tonight, the sheriff and a former neighbor are sharing what they know with 7 News Detroit reporter Brett Cast. Well, law enforcement has been here most of the day and now into the night, finally securing that critical footage showing the suspects behind this brutal murder. Or DTE. Two men posing as DTE workers investigating a gas leak. We'll check out for gas leaks. Knock on a Rochester Hills front door. Their car even had a DTE placard on the side, but soon after being let in, they allegedly murdered the homeowner in his basement. He was found again deceased in the basement. We're not sure exactly the cause. Uh, quite frankly, because there was so much blood. Sheriff Michael Bouchard says the suspects first visited Thursday night, but came back Friday morning. On that second visit, the 72-year-old homeowner took the suspects downstairs, and then the suspects came back upstairs alone, tied up the victim's wife, and searched the home for roughly 20 minutes. A loving guy, owned a business, cared about his neighborhood and his community. Shouldn't have been a target of this. No one should ever be a target of this. Records show the business he owned is a jewelry store in Hamtramck. A sign outside the store said it was closed for a family emergency. The sheriff says they're investigating whether owning the store made him a target by thieves looking for cash or jewelry. We believe this was very targeted. It wasn't random. They're not just knocking on doors and doing this. But when I started hearing the details of what happened, it was... Uh very disturbing. Austin Rogers grew up across the street and says his dad is friends with the victim. He was a nice guy. He was, you know, always doing yard work. That's when I would see him. Um, you always wave, say hello. The sheriff's department sharing this crucial piece of evidence, hoping someone recognizes the suspects while a neighborhood is still reeling from what happened. A utility person walks up to your door. You you're inclined to trust them, if, especially if they have a truck out there that says DTE. And DTE says before visiting your home, they'll always give you a heads up either by phone, text, or email. They say you can always ask a worker for photo identification, and whenever in doubt, make sure to give DTE a call, and they can confirm if that worker is legit. In Rochester Hills, I'm Brett Cast, 7 News, Detroit. We will follow any new developments in the search for the suspects in the murder in Rochester Hills. You can find updates on air and on WXYZ.com. Man, I wish he wouldn't have never opened up that door, man. Um, you know, opening up that door just, I don't know, man. It, it's its crazy, you know. <clears throat> but listen, be very careful about opening up the doors to your home uh, when people that you don't know, they're, they're ringing your doorbell or knocking at your front door. And I know that should be just like just some basic stuff. Um, but, yeah, I mean, in that situation, they posed as workers from the energy company, which – for criminals, that that's nothing new. Um, it, it's nothing new where they pose as some type of uh, official in order to get you to let your guard down and open up that door for them. And 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 I think they kind of do it because they know that it will make some people ignore their own suspicions about who's at the door. And this is often due to the person wearing a uniform or uh, some type of badge, which makes them look official. I mean, they do it all the time. They impersonate. Uh, police officers, delivery drivers, and in this case, utility workers. So once you open that door, you become vulnerable because to me, I think your home should be treated as your first and strongest line of defense uh, because it provides a physical barrier between you and potential threats. And keeping things secure prevents unauthorized access, which gives you control over who enters your space. Uh, it, it gives you the advantage. You have the advantage, but when you open that door and they get in, you lose that advantage, and then now you have to go on offense, which may be a little bit more difficult to manage and, and navigate, um, You know, especially when things go sideways and you get caught by surprise and you don't have something like your uh, firearm on you, and that's if you even own one. Uh, but it's, it's just sad to see something like this go down, but you can't get complacent. Uh, don't fall into the traps of complacency by thinking that because you live in a, a so-called good neighborhood or nice neighborhood or gated community that things like this just you know can't happen to you. 
And I'm not saying that the deceased victim thought that because I don't know, but I have come across a lot of people who, who think like that. And it's unfortunate because it may potentially get them hurt or worse. And, um, you don't have to be all paranoid, you know, but you definitely want to stay vigilant, uh, vigilant and, uh, understand that you're not obligated to open your door for anybody. If they claim to be some kind of service worker or whatever, you tell them to call and set up an appointment because no service worker should ever show up to your house without an appointment. And when you talk to them, you talk to them through the doorbell camera, if you have one. And if you don't have one, then maybe you should maybe consider, you know, getting one. But um, just keep yourself and your loved ones in your home safe. Your number one priority should be safety. And just don't put yourself in a dangerous situation by opening up the door to your home for somebody that you don't know. Um, but hopefully these guys are caught soon because they're dangerous and they don't need to be on the streets terrorizing people. I mean, who knows? I mean, I don't know if they've done something like this before, um, but I mean, the potential for them to do it again, I mean, it's, it's very high. So, um, yeah, y'all, y'all take care, stay safe, and just make better choices because your life may depend on it. Peace.